Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do baking soda nails. Enjoy the video. You saw me on the television, said invite up all the buildings. Okay, let's just dive right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to use these nails. I'm not going to use the other nails. I had to just push them further, yeah, just like that because I wanted to use these nails. These are DIY nails. I did a video on that. Voila, if you want to see how I did this, these nails, I'm going to link uh, the video in the description below or I'm going to put an eye card up there. So you can go and check it out after you're done with this or you can check it out and then come back and watch this so what i'm doing is just like using these nails guys look at how straight and beautiful the nail these nails are like the reason why i had to make mine is because i wanted like straight long nails and i couldn't find so yeah i just had to come up with a plan because like i'm a diy queen I'm, I'm all, like i always come up with a plan honey so <laughs> yeah so right now i'm just using my glue to kind of like attach my nails as you can see i'm not attaching my nails right at the end of my nail but like you can see i'm leaving space because i want um to leave space like for an arc is it an arch or an arc and then when i put the baking soda i want everything like to transition pretty well and um yeah you will see what i'm talking about when I'm done with this. So yeah, as you can see guys, they are so long, they're straight, they're good. The baking soda that I'm going to use, as you saw, is the Robison baking powder. And yeah, I'm just, I had to pour it uh, on the cloth. Previously I'd put like in that crazy crash, whatever container that is by this left corner. But I decided not to use it again because these long, these nails are long and I want something that, um, is flexible and comfortable to use especially when i dip my nail i just want to like just put the glue and just dip my nail just like that so this is so much easier as you can see just take your glue and then uh, polish your um nail or your finger yeah your nail as if you're putting on nail polish but you have to do this fast because your glue will dry up before you dip it into the baking powder or the baking soda so this guys like this works like it works as if like you've used athletics i tell you like this is strong and it works perfectly and it's so simple and easy because like you won't be working like your way with the acrylic you know sometimes when you put like acrylic liquid and powder together and you try to put on your finger sometimes it's a mess but this is so simple because you just put uh, the liquid and then you dip the liquid and then you dip like the uh, glue that's the liquid and then you dip so yeah just continue to do just like what i'm doing here and make sure when you dip don't uh, wrap of your uh, baking soda faster but like as you can so i had to do this and leave it for a while and i did the other one and then i came back and brush it off so just like just just make sure okay uh nothing comes off but yeah as soon as you dip your finger inside the baking soda everything just like it just like freezes or just like yeah it hardens instantly but like just to make sure and yeah for precaution measures and all that is a precautionary measures yeah and all that we have to just make sure everything is good and beautiful honey so uh yeah as you saw i want to make an arc right is it an arch okay an arch you know that hump on your like finger so if you want to make that hump make sure that you put your glue just where you want that arch to be just put the glue and dip put the glue and dip put the glue and dip until you've reached the layer or the size that you want your arc to be i think you can see now it doesn't have okay i'm showing you okay i think you can see it doesn't have an arch but it's a small one and i decided to do this yeah now i'm showing you where i want like my arch to be and that is where i'm going to put my glue i'm not done with the snail i just had decided to put the arch like first and then i will do the rest of my finger as i go so just put like what i'm doing right now put your glue where you want your arc to be dip faster and then wait for a bit and um rub it off and then put glue again and keep on doing that keep on doing that till <coughs> excuse me <laughs> keep on doing that till everything like um till your nail is smooth till your nail like is like good not smooth smooth because like obviously you will see when you put the arch it won't be like um Okay, you will have to form your, the, the arch when you are filing, but you'll see a hump when you're doing this. So just put there only. And then when you're done putting there, 
you uh, rub um, the rest of your nail with your glue and then dip it in just like what I was doing right now I'm, I think I'm doing the rest of my finger okay now I'm doing the arch for the um, middle nail for the other nail and this okay if you don't want to dip you can do this this is safer why because when you put your glue and then you flip it like that um, instead of dipping it won't like straighten or like um what do you call it yeah your, your, your arch won't be like you know pressed it will be good but still even if it's pressed when you file everything is gonna be good but if you just want a perfect um arch or a perfect finger or a perfect nail just do as i'm doing right now just flipping that um cloth and this cloth is like a little bit see-through so my powder was going under i had to put tissues after um, not after but like in the middle of this i had to put tissues as you can see they're like there's powder that is like yeah just yeah that so just keep on doing like i'm doing right now when you feel like your arch is the right size you want like it's not too big it's not too small just do like the rest of your finger now i'm brushing off my little finger and i'm doing like the rest of my finger and it's so easy guys as you can see now i'm doing like the rest of my finger to just make sure like it's um the transit like the transition from or the transition from like um the arch to the rest of the nail is smooth even if there's a hump they wow even if there's a hump um it will be good okay these are the small diamonds fake whatever that i'm going to use after i'm done with my nails as you can see i'm done with the nails okay that black thing okay i had to remove it okay now i'm using my wipes to just um because there's one nail that i had to yeah make it dip like it was a little bit different so i was just wiping it off so that you can see how it's looking i guess i had to take like my glue brush and then just drew a strip a strip and then deep strip and deep just like that a line yeah as you can see it's just a line draw a line and then dip in the glue draw another line dip in the glue and then um your baking soda will f will follow that um pattern so right now as you can see i'm done it dries instantly so if you want to file you can file right now you can see i was filing with a hard harder um file now i'm doing like with my buffer but like it has a harder um side and like a softer softer side so you just buff to make everything smooth but guys this is so easy and this guys wow i, I don't want to lie to you this is like the hmm, child you have to try this you have to try this if you don't know how to make the nails yourself just buy nails and do it for yourself but if you want the nails like to look like this honey to look like this trendy good nice nails do as i did the link will be in the description box below right now i'm just filing everything and making everything look good or whatever if you want more nail videos guys tell me so that i can do more but i've realized like you love my oh child look at that look at that arch and look at how it's looking you see what i was talking about that arch is now formed there was wow okay these are not done yet but you can see this scruffy and all that but it will be all good when you're done look at that nail look at how it's looking okay that gape that i that i left you see now what i was talking about if you just put glue a little bit it'll be oh child look at my hair <laughs> all right guys guys i mean you have to try this look at how beautiful beautiful my look okay now when you're done with this you can put the nail, nail polish of your choice if you want to put red blue white whatever color you want or if you don't want to put a color it's good as well just do what you feel is right just do what you want for yourself so yeah guys this is the final look like i was just putting on nail polish and as you can see it's so pretty and it's so nice <laughs> oh my gosh it's really really nice so guys thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to share comment like and subscribe and tell your friends to tell their friends to also come and subscribe and join the family there's nothing wow there's nothing more to it i was just putting like white and blue nail polish oh my gosh they're looking super super nice and the nails are strong okay the nails are so 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 strong because it's glue and then when you want to remove they're so easy to remove if you want also to see how i remove my baking soda nails i'm going to link also um the video to that in my description box or 
um, on the iCard up there. So yeah, this is how it's looking. I'm so impressed. Oh my gosh. And those like little stones, honey. Yeah. So yeah. Bye guys. See you on my next video.